this is an uh, oak apple data set uh, this is an infested uh, oak apple wasp insp uh, infested uh, oak apple data set uh, that i uh, received from uh, graham davis uh, from uh, queen mary university of london so this is uh, his data set and um, what we would like to do today is uh, explore this data set using uh, the new facility uh, viewports so this is a transformation that we have now let me just take uh, this transformation editor out <coughs> and uh, let me add a clipping plane here uh, press c to add a clipping plane and and you can see here that uh, there are uh, dead wasps here and uh, what we would like to now do is uh, explore this data set in, in more detail. Now if you want to look at individual wasps um, using say a facility like this where you, we can clip the data is useful but um, it's uh, still a bit hard to look at these wasps uh, uh, individually. So one one might basically zoom into the into the uh, into the view into the data set and then look at it closely um, or we can use uh, say a cropping tool like this so I add, add two points and then crop and then using cropping tool we would uh, go about say looking at uh, this data so say keep inside do not keep the ends say use an ellipsoid and then we would uh, go about um, exploring this data now the problem here is we lose track of uh, the uh, complete data set so we are not when for example we use cropping like that without um, by cropping the ends we lose track of the 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 global view of the data and what we are looking at is only a tiny region in the data but um, it's still not uh, very uh, intuitive or easy to use now what we will now do is we use we'll use viewports and I'll show you uh, that we can seamlessly move between the the in, the intimate or the close view of your data the looking at the finer regions the um, smaller features in your data um, as well as looking at the complete global uh, view of your data uh, to, in order to do that we'll be using uh, viewports so let let me add a clipping plane by pressing C and uh, hover over the clipping plane uh, we can turn off the clipping let's add a viewport so we can add a viewport so these are the coordinates of the viewport and I will set the transfer function set to zero so I'll be using the same transfer function set that I'm using for the um, the global view of the data now there is help available on viewports here in the um, in the menu so go down and there is viewport now so you key in the viewport parameters in this uh, the parameter box here uh, it usually requires four parameters so x y that is the um, lower left corner of the viewport and then width and height now if you don't specify width and height then it will be taken as 0.5 meaning take half of the viewing window so this is my complete viewing window and when I give 0.5 just take half of that we can have different um, height and weight values so you can have say 0.5 and uh, say 1 for the for the height so for the time being let's keep it as say 0 0 which is the lower left corner of the view, uh, viewport which is this corner here and uh, because I have not specified any 
width and height parameter by default it is going to take it as 0.5 so let's do that so this is your viewport and using middle mouse button I can zoom in and in one of the previous uh, videos you would have seen how to change the the thickness so this is the thickness here and this is what actually we are viewing so this is the the clipping border of your camera so if I move around you will see how your camera is, is changing okay I can turn off the clipping so now we are uh, just place your cursor in the view window um, viewport window and press spacebar and automatically the clipping plane dialog for the relevant clipping plane uh, viewport will be shown now as you can see we had given only 0 and 0 as the viewport and by default it took as say 0 0.5 0 0.5 for the uh, width and height parameters so I can change that to say 1 and you get this viewport here also I can just switch off the clipping so this is your global view here in this part of the window and this is where you have your uh, uh, local view or the intimate view of the of your data so I'm right now um, looking at it in the low res um, so low res version so let me press L again so I'm looking at a better resolution version okay now that we have got a viewport here I can also have another viewport so again pressing spacebar uh, pressing C and uh, now this time I would like to have my viewport start at 0 0.5 0 and uh, then 0 0.5 say 0 0.5 and I can use the so this is my another viewport here I can just turn off showing the slice and the thickness similarly here I can just switch off all these parameters and now we can go deep into the data and uh, we can explore it more much more easily instead of going into the main global data here we can just look closely at um, in the viewport and these are because these are independent these viewports let me also change the color so that So I've got a different color viewport and using control left mouse button I can rotate the view about the Z axis. grub here I'm using wheel to move the the viewport along the normal of the clipping plane I can 
to switch that back to say 0.5 here I can do it as say 1 and then just move that across here now if you want to have say scale bar then the scale bar also automatically uh, changes its size uh, based on which viewport it is in so let me just show you uh, the scale bar let me just get a nice view here so let's let's now add a scale bar okay so to in order to introduce the scale bar press space bar and then scale bar and let's say 10 now I'll just give cancel and let me just show you the volume information here now this is 0 0.015 millimeters the voxel size is 0 0.015 millimeters so the whole thing would probably be around 10 10 millimeters so let's give scale bar of say 10 millimeters uh, when I press scale bar so there's a help on scale bar here so you can give voxel or voxel units so scale bar 10 so this is 10 millimeters here that's 10 millimeters and this is extremely zoomed view so if I move my scale bar across then it will autom automatically change the size so let, let me just move it to the whole data set here and uh, let me introduce another scale bar now this time just let's have scale bar which shows one millimeters so scale bar scale bar one and this scale bar now here this is one millimeters across here if I move it across here it changes the size according to the viewport so if I move back in this viewport it should change the size and show the actual show the size which reflects one millimeter in this in this viewport so when you're using viewports you can also use um, say scale bars and to show the the magnification in your data move it vertically move it here so this is how you can um, explore the data sets using uh, the, using the viewports uh, no matter how uh, fine or how small the feature is using viewports you can easily um, have the global view of your data as well as um, the local uh, view of your data and you can also have as many viewports as you want or, uh, and in whatever configuration that you want so for example if I, I can make that a bit smaller so for example I can have it as say two so it's a really small one yeah now this scale bar here now because it is out of this viewport the size has changed because it is now reflecting the main window viewport and so on so this is a way in which um, viewports can be used also you can add uh, uh, points so you can add uh, points using shift click uh, as you would normally do in a normal uh, window and then you can also add path 
show the distance for example so this will show the distance and so on